Okay, I've never really done anything like this before, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and make a video and show you how to make beaver stew. Really, I'm just trying to learn how to use my new video editor app so that I can use it for my hunting videos. So everything that you're going to need I have right here. Got some salt, flour, pepper, potatoes, carrots, celery, onions, diced, uh, several pounds of beaver, and some olive oil. I don't measure anything, I just use what I think I'll need. So essentially what I'm going to do is sh mix some pepper and some salt in with the flour. Give that a good shake. Then I'm going to take these uh, beaver chunks here that I've taken the time to get all the tendons and cut into little chunks. I'm going to take those and shake it in that flour real good. And then I'm going to brown it in a skillet with the olive oil with all these onions. Those are all going to brown together. Once those are brown, I'm going to take the carrots and the celery. That's going to go in a big stew pot with the meat and the brown onions. I'm going to add some water as well as the gravy from the pan from the beaver and the onions. And I'm going to let that simmer for a while. After that's simmered for a while, the potatoes are going to go in. So I didn't show any of the prep work because I figured that's pretty common sense stuff. Alright, well I got some olive oil good and hot. I'm going to take these onions, go ahead and put them in there. Let them start caramelizing. I'm going to stir those around a bit, let them cook for a minute. And then the uh, breaded beaver is going in there. Alright, so I let the onions cook for a bit. And I got the beaver all shook up in the flour and salt and pepper. Then I went ahead and I put the beaver chunks on top of the onion. I'm going to take this olive oil. Put just a little more oil on top of the beaver. And then go ahead and give it a stir. I'm going to keep doing this for a little bit until everything's starting to look nice and brown. Well, I got this stuff browned up as much as I want it. I don't want to brown it up too much because I want that flour to stay kind of soft. Essentially what it's going to do is uh, some of that flour is going to come off in the water and it's going to make almost a gravy type texture to the, the stew broth. So what I'm going to do next is take all this I'm going to put it in a big stew pot. I got all that brown meat transferred into the stew pot but now I have all this stuff in the bottom of the pan a little bit of flour and onion left that I want in the stew so I'm going to take some water dump it in there try and get some of that stuff out of the bottom of the pan and all that's going in the stew pot Next, I'm going to take the celery and carrots. That's going in too. Now I'm going to take enough water and just fill it up to the top of that to where it's mostly submerged. I'm going to let that simmer for a while, 30 minutes or so. And then I'm going to take the potatoes and put them in until they're tender, and it'll be done. Well, this has been simmering for a while. It's starting to smell pretty good. I don't think I'm going to add the potatoes quite yet, but you can kind of see what I'm talking about. How the broth kind of turns almost gravyish because of the flour that comes off of the chunks. So here in a little bit I'm going to put the potatoes in there and put a lid on it. Put it on low and let it go for an hour, hour and a half. Well that had simmered for a while, so I went ahead and added the potatoes. And a couple more cups of water, just to get the water level back up above all the contents. Starting to look pretty decent. I'm going to let this simmer for an hour, an hour and a half, and call it good. Okay, well this is all done. It looks and smells pretty good. It's really easy to make. Beaver's not terribly hard to come by if you have a good place to trap and you know how to trap them. 
a lot of people just aren't willing to give it a chance, but it's really a, a good, rich, non-gaming meat, and it's easy to get lots of it. So hopefully this video helps at least one or two of you out.